my favorite thing. First thing in the morning. So peaceful out here. So, I gotta feed the baby chickens, water the garden, milk trouble. Got my uh, pot right here that I use. I like to use a big old pot because sometimes you get milk everywhere. You ain't got a pot big enough. And uh, feed the bunnies. So, uh, first things first, we'll check on the baby chickens, chicks and uh, give them food and water, go from there. <clears throat> um, yeah, I do get the big chickens in my garage. Uh, predators, once again. So yeah, I just got this set up right here, I built. Um, They're able to be on this side of it or <clears throat> that side, depending on if they're hot or cold. But seem to be alright. I'm actually going to end up turning off this heat lamp because it will get too hot for them in general, especially here in Texas. So that's done. Is that it? And turn off the lights. Done. So this is uh, my morning ritual. This is what I do every single day. Every day. No days off. Not even one. Um, love it. Best job in the world. Wouldn't change it for anything. So. Coming out here, everybody's waking up. I separated my goat this morning. She's probably already standing on her milk stand. She is. So she's ready. Ready to be fed. Just waiting for me to get up. Right? You waiting for me to get up? Here comes everybody else. What? 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 Mom, I'm hungry. Alright. Alright. So. <clears throat> so our pen that we have. And the milking station. It's trouble. My milking goat, she already knows the drill. She'll just hop up here and shoot and get fed. It's really hard to do. <laughs> you can see it, maybe you can. Here we go. Trap her in there. So, wash off the udders. I always use uh, Dawn soap, some iodine, and some water when I do it. Just gonna get a little bit of like that. Make sure the nipples are all good. Shouldn't like being wet, so I. Uh, Take it off a little bit, but first squeeze, shoot it out. And from there on out, it's just all a matter of finesse. A lot of people use two hands, I just use one hand. Do it one at a time. 
Seems like my goat likes it better and I have a really bad carpal tunnel so it's kind of easier on me. Step in the pot. Nothing worse than a goat foot and your goat ruins it, all of it. You can strain it, but can't get rid of the fact that a goat just stepped that in your milk. So, I the blocker. <clears throat> Hey Jeeks. Good morning, buddy. Don't you know your mama? Yeah. Hi Larry. Good morning, man. Ready to get your baby? Not really. You don't want to get beat up. <laughs> please don't. Please don't. Release me to that crazy, crazy kid. Watch. My little goat beat up my mama. Granted, I just took all the remote away, but it's for the best. Headbutt. Bam! Yeah. So, you get the idea. This one because it has a little pour spot, makes it easy to put it in the bottle for the baby. And not the baby outside. That one eats too much. I 
typically I strain it when I put it in there just because extra measures There's a little bit of skill pour but I got them skills but probably a thousand better ways to do that but it's all good that's how much milk I got today all of it is going to go to the baby. So we got Brownie outside now in the pen so she can play around, jump around, do goat stuff. And, uh, and now it's time for the chicken coop. Take care of the chickens, feed them, give them some water, give them whatever they need. And yeah. They're ready for it. I'm telling y'all my last video about how I have a um sitter she just sits on the eggs and hatches them good bird on my golden sex links I'm actually gonna free range them today so I'll let them out <clears throat> gonna run rampant they already know the drill Rooster will conduct them out for me because he's awesome and they'll be super happy. This is my setup right here. I got two totes, uh, one with my meat chicken feed, and one for our Malayan layers feed. I have probiotics in here at all times. And uh, just got done feeding everybody. Happy birds. Eating away. Um, another reason why I like to free range my birds is so that the younger ones that I have in the same coop as the older ones uh, have a chance to eat and get accustomed to the coop without getting disturbed by the older ones too much. Because there's definitely a pecking order. See, they get to have their way with the food. All these guys out here, they can forage and run around and be a lot happier. My beautiful wife, Alicia, feeding Larry. Larry loves his mama. And 
same thing. A good practice to always get in is cleaning the waters. Very important. That's how all your animals get sick and spread diseases. Um, and so yeah, that's what we're going to do right now. This is just after two days. It gets cloudy, rain water. Larry's is exceptionally bad because he has a dirty snout all the time and likes to rub his snout in his water. Yeah, a lot of people would think we never clean these, but literally clean them every two days. <laughs> you have to. Growing some crops over here. This is uh, where the rabbit cages are. Ready to get fed. Um, bunnies with their waters <clears throat> if you don't do it just right they tend to tend to leak out so it's good practice to go and check them all the time the waters just in case you didn't put one right it happens to leak all the way out you don't want your bunnies to go without water so that wraps up another video I'm hoping Everyone's enjoying what they're seeing and learning some new stuff. And, you know, if you have any advice for me or any suggestions, go ahead and comment or send me a message and let me know. Um, yeah, have a great day. See you tomorrow.